evening May, it is Monday still, and today I just came back from placement, it is my last week, and not gonna lie, I've felt like crying, and I'm, I'm gonna miss it so much, and I've completely enjoyed it, and I'll probably be going back in the new year for my whole year experience placement thing. And you asked me what demographics do I fit in, and the thing is about humans is that we fit into multiple spectrums of demographics. I am a Caucasian male from Britain who is in his late teens and he likes Game of Thrones, Doctor Who, pro wrestling and Beatles, classic rock, ukulele, acoustic music, worship, Christianity in general. We can fit into many things. So if and there was an advert for me which I would go and watch is not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be something like, it, it won't be all jumbled into one thing, it'll be like hey Look at what's happening it behind the scenes in the WWE world, and I go, well, I want to click on that. Oh, check out this picture from the set of Doctor Who season nine. I'm like, oh, want to watch? Click on that. Oh, check it out. There's a brand new version of She Loves You by the Beatles, which you've never heard before ever. It's the same version. And to be honest, mate, I haven't really been thinking too much about my demographics within the last few days because mainly the Royal Rumble happened. For people, especially you, you don't know what's going on. The Royal Rumble is an event where Wrestlers compete to go and compete at the main event at this pay-per-view called Wrestlemania Which is basically the Super Bowl of wrestling and you know, it's a big deal and someone won And they the fans didn't approve. I'm a fan. I kind of approve. I'm not fussed really as long as it's a good match I'm not fussed but, you know, it still happened and people are absolutely livid. Oh, what I mean by livid is that they've unsubscribed to the WWE Network, which is now the WWE's biggest income of money. So, they're losing money. And it's very bad because, you know, the WWE, they want to do something. They want to create something out of a superstar. But the fans don't want that superstar. They want... Another superstar who is also coincidentally my favourite wrestler at this moment in time. But I think I have I have faith in the company to come to a decision about a wrestler that's like, no, we want him to be the face of the company because he is good, he's good looking, he can fight, fight. He hasn't learned yet about his talking stuffs, but he's gonna get there in the end because you know he's very young, he's got years ahead of him. And we have faith in him. And it's sad that we don't, as a, as a fan base, we don't have faith in him. And I've talk, talked way over the line. That's pretty much it for me. I don't really know what else to say. So, mate, I will see you tomorrow.